Kazaki san, Yagami san. So glad you're here. Did you come to try the game? Yep. Yeah, if it'll be helpful. Do you plan on making any changes based on the feedback? Uh, well, technically, the QA phase is over, but we've got a bit of an issue. Huh? Oh, what's wrong? Uh, you see, only a few hours before release, Shinonoma san and Kunigawa san started arguing again. Oh, yeah? I saw that. Is it getting bad? Well, uh. Mm. Hey. If it ain't Yagami song, you come to help us with our little problem here? Uh, sure. I'm telling you, Kinagawa san, I'm not budging on this. <sighs> Shinoma, you stuck in the past, pal. Gamers nowadays ain't looking to get tortured the whole time. What? I thought the games where you die all the time sell like crazy now. Those are different demographics. I'm not sure you get the market we're after. In that case, Kunigawa san, I'm not sure you get game design. Uh, excuse me. Uh oh. This is getting ugly. Uh, hey, come on, you two. Yagami san's here. Let's not forget about the test. Right, right. The test. Good. Okay, Yagami san, let's be off. Right. This must be where they're gonna let people play the game. Yagami san, all we'd like you to do is just play a bit of the unfinished product, or sorry, the finished product. Nothing special about it, we just want to see how you fare going in cold. We've all spent too much time in this thing ourselves. Got it. Yo. You play games at all, Yagami san? Any good at them? Oh, uh, I hit the arcades every now and then, when I'm in the mood for it. So you're a real deal gamer then, huh? Well, I wouldn't say that. Good. Perfect. Huh. Uh huh. Alright, Yagami-san, go ahead and start. The game will walk you through the basic controls, so you'll be all set there. And don't worry about game overs or anything, just relax and have fun. Yep. Can do. Okay, the fuck is this? Um, oh, there's different missions. Alright, so this must be something we come back to. Or we can if we want to. Destroy the enemies, two waves. Let's give it a shot. Ah, uh, we're gonna use the, um, That's done. drone. Repair chip, shot chip, three way chip. Nice. Rapid chip. Beam shot, move, energy wave. Okay. This. Oh, I don't have any chips, okay. Oh, the right trigger just moving around, okay. I don't like the one they blow up. Kind of makes it hard to see. Gotta intercept those guys. Well, that wasn't bad. This guy shoots. It's a chip. No, it's not a chip. I don't know what that was there. Oh shit! Shit! That was close. Bulbs are weird, like they come out fast, then they like go slow motion, and then they go forward. Can't stop now. Damn it. Shit. I'm surrounded. No! Uh, really? I was so fucking close to you. Fuck that. Oh, I just said I didn't care if I died or not. I really would have liked to have beaten that, though. Wasn't that, wasn't that far off? Phew, that was fun. <laughs> hey, looks like you enjoyed it. Yep. Yeah, I'd definitely play that again. See, Kunigawa-san? Yagami-san enjoyed it, and he said to himself he's not a gamer. That means no spec changes. Ha, <laughs> I win. Yeah. Nope. <gasps> Sorry, what? But 
That's not what you promised. You said if yagami san gave the green light, you'd release the game. <sighs> Sorry, my producer instincts are just telling me this game won't be hit as is. It's still too hard. Gotta simplify the controls more. No, no, no. That's not true. The controls are one of the highest rated aspects of the game among the testers. Joe! Nah, still ain't good enough. We gotta push the envelope. We gotta break barriers. We gotta make it so even the entry level players can clear a stage with just a button press. That's the kind of thing I wanna see. You want a clear stage button? How is it even a game at that point? We're supposed to provide challenges so users can feel rewarded for their efforts. Who would feel rewarded by a single button press? <sighs> Shinobi, I gotta say, it's sad seeing you talk just like another fossil in this industry instead of really putting your mind to the problem. What? How dare you? I'm a visionary. Excuse me. Um, uh, just to interject, I do enjoy the game. If it's fine as is, maybe we can all just move on? Mm. Nah, that ain't happening. If you were a gamer, you know how important this shit is. Uh, I guess so. Wait, this is about that woman, isn't it? Mm. Huh? That hostess. The one who brought... The one you brought to test the game the other night. Yeah, that woman you've been so into lately. Everything was going smooth as silk until you brought her here. Once she, she was all I can do anything, and uh, it's too hard. You changed your tune. Shinome, you prick. She said the game is hard, and it put her in a bad mood, and now you just want to win back her favor. You're gonna be all, hey, here a chan Off and a freaking <clears throat> tickle. You're gonna be all, hey, Akari chan, I'm putting all your effing suggestions in the gosh darn game because I effing love you. <clears throat> what? And you call yourself creative? If you want to use a game to get laid, go make your own. <clears throat> Shinome, you motherfucker. I'm gonna kill you, asshole. Eep. God, I knew it. Okay, let's calm down. <clears throat> Shut the fuck up, Yagami. I'll kill your ass too. I don't give a shit. What is it with you and kill this, kill that? Now I'm even starting to wonder if you're really Yakuza. What the fuck you mean, Yakuza? What a silly sense I crawled out of the womb. <sighs> Crap. I guess he just needs to get his head straight. One way or the other. Fine. Let's take this outside. Out side we go. Take. Kick big guy's ass again. You're gonna get it now, Yagami. Okay, big guy. Let's go. Let's do this, bitch. Oh god. You know what? I think I could have countered that when he grabbed me. Uh oh. Let's do this. I forgot to cancel that. I mean, a uh, counter. I think it's X. Either way, I hit it, so must be. Or was it L1? I kind of hit both of them together because I'm not sure. No way. Didn't we already have to talk about what constitutes abuse of power? It's gonna take, man. I'm real sorry. I guess the blood just went to my head. His penis head. So, can we release the game? No more spec changes? Yeah, but Shinome, just one thing first. Uh. This wasn't about me wanting to jump a car on bones. We creators gotta keep an ear on the ground to learn what the audience wants. That means we gotta keep up minds on what we put in our games, too. If things ain't going our way, sometimes you gotta flip a table or two to make your point. Can't tell you the number of times I've seen a table flip lead to a real masterpiece in the end. Uh-huh. I'm just saying. It wasn't for a card, just on honest. I understand, but we'll just say it wasn't. <laughs> At least the game is finally done. Really, that's all thanks to you, Agami san. Feel free to stop by and play whenever you like. The game will be right here waiting. Yep. Thanks. Will do. Hey, contacts. Right, well, that one was nice and easy. These contacts any good? Um, how do I put the shit on again? Shit, right here. 
Defense plus three reduces blind duration. Um, pass. Well, actually, my attack's pretty strong. Maybe I will get the defense. Alright, how many skill points do we got? I'm gonna assume a lot. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's max health boost snake. So use that shit like crazy. Ooh, I can only do this when I learn all three of the health ones up there. Okay. I don't really care about grip gauge, but it's cheap. Can't do that one yet. I like that. Most of the stats learned. Not these ones. Oh, fuck. I can do bottom of the stomach. I forgot I could do this one now. I bought the book. Alright, I need a save for that one. Uh, let's do some cheap ones here. I remember the next time I come into here, because every time I come in here, I have a shit ton of points. I remember to do bottom of the stomach. Under grab, so on. let's do that. So, with all that done, we should be able to head to Camarocho now. Talk to Ahara. Yep, let's do it. I really do have to find out to get more play passes. We do have a case in Camarocho too though, don't we? What's up, Kaito-san? Something wrong? Call me crazy. But doesn't the city seem noisier to you? What the hell? kaito sense is tingling or something? Hmm, maybe they are. Well, no point trying to explain shit that doesn't make sense. Anyway, I need to go talk to Sari-san before the interview. I wonder if we can even do the case if this guy's gonna follow us around. Don't th think so. We got cats in the alley that we can go talk to. Um. What case was it? The, no, not that one. This one? Oh, I don't have details. Uh, I can't progress it. Yeah, okay. What is it? Talking to Sari. But, go talk to these cats first. Make some more friends. Name, Your name huh? is Spooky. 
Stay safe. Stay safe, pal. Meow. Hold on a minute, Todd. What? I'm noticing a lot more punk scurrying around than normal. Something's up. Really? Huh. Maybe so. I'm looking for somebody. Hey, don't I know you two? You're detectives around here, ain't you? Yeah, so what? Never seen this guy before. A few years ago, he was the manager at some girls' bar nearby. I haven't seen this guy around, or maybe I have and just forgot. I have definitely not seen him. You really need all these meatheads just to find one dude? <laughs> Must be one slippery eel. Damn right he is. Now do you know him or not? Hmm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Out of curiosity, what's a guy doing running a girl's bar? I don't think he actually ran the floor in. All I care about is him up and vanishing out of nowhere. So he's a missing person? Since when? Five years ago. I mean, disappearing from Kamurocho isn't that uncommon. Five years? What do you really expect to find? Your guy have a name? And who gave the order to find him? I'm trying to be cute. We're the ones asking the questions here. Don't fuck with us. Who's fucking with who, asshole? You want to ask questions, you're going to have to Kaito, ask calm your tits. Nice or not, information has a price. It's our bread and butter, so we don't give handouts. How about I butter your brains on the sidewalk? Straight to throwing punches, huh? Even the Yakuza treated people better than that. Ah, fuck off! It's all fucked up, dude. Alright, time to fight. Oh, I didn't knock him out. Ooh, how did that miss? This guy's got some health on him. Dude. Oh, sick, dude. I didn't know it was gonna be a multiple attack. What's up? That all you guys got? Kamurocho used to be tough. Look at these punks. <laughs> Kaito san. Huh? It's Akatsu. First name Daimo. You know him? Former Tojo clan guy, ex Yakuza. Yakuza? Well, if you say so. Yagami Detective Agency. Maybe I ought to just hire you guys for this. We're looking for a guy. You heard, didn't you? RK officer. This guy you're after. He was some kind of girls bar manager here in town. I take it this manhunt is your idea? No. Soma's taking point on this one. Came from one of his connections. There's gonna be a big pile of cash in it for whoever finds him. Practically all of Kamurocho's in on this race. And Soma is? He's the one in charge of the RK gang. Of course, he's former Tojo clan too. First name Kazuki. That's crazy. Did the whole Tojo clan join this thing? Kaito would know all about all the bullshit rules it takes to keep the Yakuza running. 
They'll take their cut from you and call it the honorable thing to do in the same damn breath. Right, Kaito? In this new age, wouldn't you be better off joining us? You guys are too small time to pull that shit on me. <laughs> you know what else, though? In the Yakuza, if your boys went down, it was on you to get revenge for them. I don't give two shits about that these days. I would say, if there's someone disrespecting you, you might as well go get the jump on them. I would walk right up and stick them in the gut. <laughs> You wouldn't even see it coming, detective. Yeah? So don't go disrespecting me. There won't be a warning next time. Okay. Akatsu, you said? Did he get very far in the Tojo clan? Nah. He may have had the potential, but he never got to make anything of it. The whole thing came crashing down before he got his time in the sun. Soma's the same way, actually. They both tried to climb up the Yakuza ranks, but then the families disbanded. And by the time that happened, all the pawns were cleared off the board. Hmm. So, now they're ex-Yakuza in the wind, and along comes this gang without all the rules and systems they were dealing with. You end up with RK, Network of Thugs. R.K.? What does the acronym stand for? <laughs> Who the hell knows? After the Yakuza, I guess they wanted to sound more Western. If they think they can replace the Tojo clan, those are pretty big shoes to fill. Yeah, but I wouldn't say they've been discriminating. Civilian punks who want quick cash are easy recruits. R.K.'s happy to scoop them up. Next thing you know, you've got an asshole army. Well, that's unfortunate, but... Speaking of the Tojo clan, have you talked to Higashi lately? Yeah. As far as ex-Tojo clan guys go, he's one of the good ones. The family left him in charge of that arcade, and now that they're gone, he's basically the owner. I heard he even gave some of the younger family guys jobs. If you get a chance, you ought to show up there every once in a while. Nah, Higashi. I am the last person in the world that guy wants to see. That's right, we haven't gone to Charles yet. I keep meaning to go back there. Check on Higashi. Actually, let's see if we can talk to another cat now that we're that fucking scene. A name, huh? Skateboarding Camarocho. Uh, where's Charles? This way. if he's going to be in here. This is where the other uh, capsule toys are. There should be six in each. So we got a Fugu. Red Snapper. Even though it's fucking green. Blowfish. Red Snapper. Blowfish. 
Hello, fish. Come on. Give me something good. Really? Alright, one more. If I get a duplicate again, I'm out. You know what? One more. I have a gambling addiction. I'm sorry. It's so much fun. Son of a bitch. Alright, one more. Hey, see? Stay. Why you stay playing? Because eventually you're going to win. Two tunas in a row. All right. All right so I got two more fish to go. It's three outs in a baseball. So let's do a three out rule. All right. Well, that's out number two. Megalodon. Alright, one more fish. That would be strike three, but you know what? I think it was a foul tip. Keep going. I'll only need one more goddamn fish. Give me the goddamn fish. You fucking piece of shit machine. Hey, got it. See? That wasn't so bad. Higashi, I'm home. It's not here. You back here, dude? Capsule's point here too. This was set one too, right? Yeah. Damn it. Alright, Tasari san. Purple? What the hell is the purple thing? It's a stronger enemy, I think. Well, that was weird. Fucking way, dude. Fuck that. Wait, why the hell did it put me way back here? Don't tell me. A name, huh? So, I just did all those capsule toys and I don't have them. <sighs> did I at least get this? Nope. Wow, dude. What a f fucking joke. Well, fuck that. I'm not doing it again. God damn it. Hey, Yoshinoa. It's funny that they put that in here. I mean, that's what it always was, the beef bowl place. But now that it's actually named Yoshinoa. 
It's weird. Are they all named Yoshinoa? This one too? Yep. How about that? Sorry, son. Yagami san made it. Sorry for the wait. I ran into some typical nonsense. We good to go? I've been good to go for a while. Ehara is waiting, and so are the answers. First thing we'll want to try to get is how involved he was in Mikoshiba's murder. From the way it's she sounds been so different. far, I doubt he'll be eager to tell you. If he won't open up, we'll have to play the trump card. Yagami san. Ehara won't know what hit him. I don't mind being the ace in the hole. Are you and your ego ready then, Yagami-san? Well, this ain't my department. Fill me in back at the office, okay? <laughs> you got it, bro. I might even tidy the place up a bit if you're lucky. Lots of open bottles to polish off. Fucking drunk. Oh, uh, we're going? I'll be holding down the fort here. You watch after salary son, please. Wow, you're actually gonna let her out of your sight, bro? Fucking simp. Don't think you can strong arm Ahara into confessing. The guy's a tough nut to crack. I'll crack his nut. Maybe uh Sauri san should do dress up again. I'm going there like all hot. And then, um, like, hey, tell me what I want to know. And I'm like, okay. Like, she did fucking Dr. Dude, whatever the fuck his name was in the first game. You'd lost already. So, what more could my lawyers want from me here? Well, normally I would say the same. However, a corpse turned up as you said it would. It turns out you have a pension for prophecy, Ahara-san. <laughs> prophecy, huh? Kinda dramatic. No Hoshino today? Did you fire the poor guy? Yagimi's my name, sir. In a past life, I used to work with Kenda and Saori-san. But today, I'm in Serio High School in a contract advisory role for one of their clubs. Serio High School? It's the same school Toshiro-kun went to four years ago. You'd know it. I happened to be out there working a separate case. But that was when Shirosaki-sensei called, so that's why I'm here. Well, well. Okay. Why are you here, then? That'd be obvious at this point, I'd think. As you know, Mikoshiba turned up as you said. His body was found in a warehouse. The question is, why did you know that well enough to proclaim it in court? Haha. <laughs> you might say it was a miracle. I wished hard enough for it to come true, and suddenly it did. Care to tell us why you'd wish for a miracle like that? Do you really need me to explain why? Mikoshiba, you blame him for Toshiro-kun's death. Don't you? I do. Even though when you took the school to court, no evidence turned up. A third party investigation found no bullying occurred, didn't it? At school, Mikoshiba tortured my son. He would beat him up, and then he'd demand all his money. That damn kid was a star student with high grades. My son's own class wouldn't stand up to him. To avoid being beaten, Toshiro used to. He'd steal money from me or his mother to make sure he could pay Mikoshiba off. Ahara-san, you seem to know a lot about what happened to your son. Do you have any proof? Would I have lost if I did? That school can rot in hell for all I care. Speaking of, you know what I'm convicted for. It was being a pervert. I admit to everything. I groped a businesswoman's ass in plain sight on a full train. There's no way I'm fighting for an appeal. So as for my defense, I'm in no need of lawyers anymore. Ehara-san, 
Just a second. <laughs> Why would I give you that? Yagami-san? Hiromi Kashiba died in a lot of pain. His final moments were truly horrific. The last thing he felt must have been fear. After slitting his throat, his body was left to rot. <sighs> Doesn't that sound great? My gut tells me Yahara's guilty for sure. There's no doubt he's connected to Mikoshiba's murder. I need to hold his attention and convince him to stay. Gotta make him understand I have more info than the police do. Uh, you know what? It's probably this picture. Because it was given to Sawa Sensei, so why would he, the cops have this? Let's do this one. Take a look at this. Oh, Mikoshiba. <laughs> Looks like he's seen better days. Where'd you get the photo? From a teacher at Serio High. But where she got it is the interesting part. A strange woman gave it to her, said to stay away from the Mikoshiba case. <sighs> you remember Sawa-sensei, yes? She transferred to Serio four years ago, not long before your son passed away. Yeah, not a face I'd soon forget. She told the whole court he was never bullied. True. She did say that. And it's not just her I detest. The administrators. The lawyers. Felt like choking the life right out of me. But if anyone needed to pay, Mikoshiba. He got what he deserved. Nothing short of insane that they were just gonna let him get a teaching credential. It all comes back to a flawed, broken system of laws that has no business calling itself justice. And it was you, wasn't it? You orchestrated every aspect of how Mikoshiba would die. But you didn't act alone. Who were the people behind it? How'd you convince them to kill a man? <laughs> That's a good one. You, my friend, are way off. I mean, he did used to be a cop. So shouldn't be surprised he's not giving us what we want. The way that interview went, Ahara is definitely guilty. But if we can't connect him to the murderers, we're left with no leads to follow. Yeah. Kept that secret on lockdown no matter what I asked. What could possibly link Ahara to those men? Damn it. And I was so close, too. To think they're still somewhere in Ijinjo. I need to find them before the trail goes cold. So you're heading back to Yokohama? Not tonight. Kaito's waiting for me in the office. I'll be in town for now. Okay. If anything changes, I'll contact one of you. Later, babe. I wonder if Mafa used in this game. That's our main squeeze, or our ex main squeeze, that. We want to be our main squeeze. Okay, well. There's the one side case over there that we picked up. Looks like that's the only one, so let's go do that. So he must be on like the second floor or something. Or third floor. 
damn it. Yep, there he is. This is Kazuto Jumanji's office, so maybe it's him? Are you Yagami san? Yep. Yes, Takuki Yagami, and you must be. Shh, please, just call me Okazaki while we're out here. You never know who might be listening. Very true. Let me to formally introduce myself. I'm Aruto Okazaki. That's my real name, in fact. So, this is the face of the mass writer. He's younger than I thought. Well, then, Yagami-san, before we enter my workspace, I want you to promise me something. That you won't tell anyone what you're about to see. Hmm? What am I about to see? Very well. My lips are sealed. This way, please. Hmm? I had a feeling when they said he writes so many books in a month that there's multiple different people. What? What is this? This is the true identity of Kazuto Jumonji. Huh? I'm not sure I understand. All the works of Kazuto Jumonji are written by ten of us here, including myself. In other words, Kazuto Jumonji isn't one just one person. He's a group of authors. Huh? Wow, a whole group? Really? So, that's how you write books in so many different genres at such an impossible pace. Yep. So I'll do the efficiency of ten talented authors of different personalities, all writing at the same time. I see. Pretty neat trick. Oh, so this is the detective. Come out to detective at that. I bet he has a lot of good stories. Hmm, curious. Please have a seat, Agni, son. Allow me to explain our request to you. This is a real surprise. So many people are writing it one person. Yeah, I don't know if other groups like us, that's for sure. But, truth be told, each one of us is a failed author. I mean, we all had a publishing debut, but never had any success beyond that. Each of us nearly gave up our pants for good. Huh. So how did you come to work together? How else? Through social media. I launched an online community and ended up attracting a bunch of failed authors. And through our exchanges, we came up with the idea of a joint authorship. So we tried it, and it worked. I see. It's an interesting... And I hear your first ever was a smash hit. Oh yes, it was a masterpiece that none of us could have written on our own. It did exist only because the ten of us worked on it together. Some of us come up with clever twists, some of us are good at dialogue, and some of us are awesome at building plot. Where each of us may be lacking one area, together we can be a great author. By the way. Still, it doesn't seem possible for ten people to write a coherent book. Hollywood movie scripts are often written by multiple people. It just depends on how you divvy it up. What's more, by managing the workload of each member, we can even work on multiple titles simultaneously. Hmm. So as long as you do it right, this unique creative process ends up pretty productive. Exactly. I doubt any writer could do what we're doing. And I'm in charge of managing the member schedules. Which is something I'm great at. I used to be an editor, you know. A former editor, huh? Well then, time to ask some questions. I heard that some of your ideas are plagiarized. What can you tell me about that? Okay, so it was about half a year ago. We were in the midst of polishing a manuscript we had just finished. A new mystery novel came out and it immediately became a hot topic because of this one trick which was depicted in the story. And that thing was, it was nearly identical to the manuscript we were polishing. In other words... So another author beat you to the punch. Yes, and we published ours later. We were accused of plagiarism. What does that mean? Any chance it was coincidence? Does the content just happen to be similar? It's pretty hard to imagine. Because it wasn't just the trick I mentioned earlier. It was also the setting, the structure, even the character traits. They were almost exactly the same. Hmm. So too many similarities for it to be mere coincidence. Not if there are dozens of them like that. You could only say it was a coincidence if there had been one thing. But the reader saw could definitely not be called a coincidence. I see. Alright. I get it. And it wasn't just that one book that plagiarized us. The same author put out three more books after that, in succession, all with ideas that were just like ours. Should ask about the authors that plagiarizing them. By the way, can you tell me about this author you think is still in your ideas? His name is Sugoroku Futaba. His first novel was published more than 10 years ago. 
I'm a decent hand at the time. He even won an award in some mystery novel contests, but after that, his books seemed to go nowhere. People said he was just one hit wonder. Mm -hmm. Then all of a sudden, that one hit wonder came out with a new book that turns into a famous bestseller. Right? And that book was nearly identical to one of ours we had yet to release. So, one after another, Mr. Futaba continued to publish books that closely resembled what we were working on. All of them bestsellers. Now people think he's made his miraculous comeback. I mean, if you're so suspicious of this guy plagiarizing you, why not just sue him? I did think about that. But if we took this to court, we might have to reveal the secret of Kazuto Jumanji. I think it'd be hard for us to tell the truth in court while also hiding how we write, don't you? Hmm. Yeah, it probably would be. You know, it could be the author is fully aware that you're powerless to take him to court. That's why he steals from you. If that's true, it would be completely infuriating, uh, unforgivable. It's probably one of the other fucking authors in this goddamn group. I heard you already asked other detectives to look into this matter. Yes, there have been three. What does that mean? What kind of investigations did they conduct? Oh, they looked for ways to hack us and whether our room was bugged. They tried really hard but couldn't find anything. Huh. None of them came up with anything. Nope. And yet, our ideas kept being stolen. You really gonna gotta wonder how in the world it's being done. This could be a tough nut to crack if the perps already evaded three different detectives. Yeah, but those detectives ain't you, Yagami. You got this, bro. Thank you. That's all very useful information you provided. Excuse me. I'd like to proceed with this investigation by collecting even more info. It's all right if I interview the other authors too. Yes, please do. I've already asked them to cooperate with you. That's great. I appreciate that. All right, it's time for a thorough recon mission. Excuse me. Can I ask you some questions? Oh, Mr. Detective on the prowl. I'm Mikuru Machiyama, by the way, author of a of many a cell phone novel. You know, books originally written on a phone. Yagami. Oh, interesting. I am Takuki Yagami, nice to meet you. I'm Takahara Ayuhara. Takara Ayuhara. I may not look it, but I used to be a screenwriter for the Dunce, the period drama. Yeah, I wrote episodes 5 through 7. You remember the priest joke Nobunaga tells? Well, I. Ayuhara san, maybe let's save the tour of your career. Uh. Minouche for later. I'm Makoto Nishimura, and since we're sharing, I'm mostly a light novel author. So, you're here to ask us something? Yep. I am. I want to know if any of you have seen anything suspicious. Uh, anything suspicious? No, I can't think of any. Me neither. Hmm. Well, actually, there was one thing I noticed. I think Makuru-chan changed her shampoo recently. Huh? Excuse me? Could it be you found someone special, Makuru-chan? Mm hmm? You are, son. Please, enough with the near sexual harassment. Huh. Hey, by the way, is this a meeting space for you all? Yes, it's a nice place to get refreshed, especially because talking to young women can be so exhausting. <laughs> I wish you wouldn't talk about this space like it's some cabaret club. We haven't used this space for actual purposes, like idea meetings, and yes, even some random chit chat at times. That's so true. We do lots of amazing brainstorming here. I see. Okay, so you all bounce ideas off each other in here. Oh yeah, Kazuhito Jumanji. We wouldn't exist without these brainstorming sessions. We share ideas, we play to each other's strengths, and we polish everything up for each other. In fact, we were doing that right before you started asking our questions, and we'll go right back to it when we're done. By any chance, do these brainstorming sessions take place at the same time every day? Yeah, why not? Why do you ask? If details of your work are being discussed, those sessions are a chance for someone to eavesdrop. And it would be even easier if you guys met at the same time daily. Hmm, you've hit on something there. What a deduction. One that I deduced myself. I've always thought this place is bugged. But it can't be. Don't you remember they never found any evidence of that? Yeah, since three detectives already came and didn't find anything, it probably wasn't a bug. But if these guys are having a regular idea meeting, surely a plagiarist would see them as an opportunity. The fuck was that? What the? Was that a gunshot? Uh, not again. That was probably the damn neighborhood pranksters. Huh? Pranksters? Yeah, just a bunch of local kids lighting up firecrackers and making trouble. Probably playing cops in Yakuza. You guys remember the last time we heard firecrackers? It was when another detective was here. 
The detective also thought it was a gunshot. Not surprising to sound like that makes people think of a game warfare. You want the Toju clan gone. This is still Camarocho. Firecrackers. Last heard when our previous detective was here. That's interesting. Looks like she's on the phone. I see. Can't make it, huh? Alright. We'll get some rest. Bye. Oh, Yagi. Hello. Yagi means the name. I'm a detective. I'm Remy Makita. I'm in charge of the love story suit, mostly. Uh, sorry you heard that. A bit embarrassing no. for me. No, I apologize. I didn't mean to eavesdrop. I was talking to Masamichi Ichinose, one of our me other members of Kazuto Jumanji. Mm -hmm. He's not coming to work today? No, he's kind of fickle. He has a habit of feeling down, so he's absent pretty often. He likes to come in out of the blue and surprise us, only to take off for another two months. Does that mean... Does he have an actual illness? Perhaps the kind of illness that makes you play games in your room all day. I see. I see. That sounds difficult to deal with. Sure is, but he's sure got talent. He comes up with ideas nobody else could. Fresh worldviews, mind-blowing plot devices. He's good at unpredictable twists, too. If only he weren't so unstable. Sometimes he can be a slump for half the year. Mm. Maybe that's just how geniuses are. I don't know. I wish we could have a stable genius. Anyway, I'm sort of his caretaker for some reason. But I can't criticize him. If I were to ever try to, even a little, he'd go into a slump. What a handful. I can see you're having a hard time. So that guy could be a suspect because he's never fucking here. She probably feeds him what they're talking about. Excuse me. Hello? This is going to be a masterpiece. I'm a genius. Once Manabe kun gets in the zone, he can't hear anything. Talking to him right now won't do you any good. Uh. Oh, yeah? He's so skilled at fleshing out characters, he just really breathes life into them. This guy's gonna be awesome, and he'll provide a foil to the protagonist's weakness to boot. Nice. Who knew the hero had this side to his character? It's like finding gold in the river. He does look absolutely full of life while he works. Honestly, he's a character himself. To be unable to hear anything? That's another level of focus. Excuse me. Hey, excuse me. I'm a detective. Name is Yagami. Can I ask you a few questions? Oh, Yagami-san. Okazaki-san told me about you. Takashi Hojo. In the world of Kazuto Jumanji, I do the science and military research, plus security for the fort. Office. Whoops. I'm a Yame Sato. I research Western mythology and civilization. You might say I'm the fantasy buff, too. You're here to look into the spy activity, aren't you, Yagami san? We've been taking measures against spies mm -hmm. ourselves. Yeah? What kind of measures? We still have a hidden camera to catch anyone who tries to sneak in. We actually already had a security camera, but we felt one wasn't enough. After all, we were still getting our information stolen, and with locked doors, too. At this point, we figure we just got, got to outsmart the perpetrator. So there was nothing in the security footage. Nope. No evidence of a break-in, either. And still, information was getting stolen. It still is so flippin' weird. By the way, have you taken any anti-hacking measures? Of course. With so many leaks, we started keeping our writing computers offline. I see. Well, that sounds like a good move. Any chance of the leak coming from memory devices which can get taken outside? I doubt it. We strictly prohibit anyone from removing devices like USB memory sticks. I remind people that all the time, too. I haven't gone so far as to search their bags, though. Don't feel the need to do that. At the end of the day, we trust our members. No chance of information being leaked and low chance of any burglaries. Okay, thank you for your cooperation. I think that's all of them. Now, let me step back and figure out exactly what I know. Chances seem pretty damn low that any wiretaps, hacks, or accidental leaks took place. So that leaves. How are things going, Yagami-san? Did you find no. anything? No. Nothing decisive yet. There's only one way I can think of the book ideas to leak, and I suspect it's not because of an outsider. But should I tell Okazaki-san? It'd be careless for me to make any claims without any evidence. By the way. Okazaki-san, are you sure there's only one member absent today? I see only eight people here. Oh, really? Who's missing? I think Sonata kun went up to the roof. Yeah, it's him, alright. Cause I don't see him. 
Okay, so they went up to the roof. That's fine. I'll talk to him later. So he might have gone to the roof and lit off the firecracker. And the firecracker is like a sign of, hey, we're being watched. Because he said the last time a firecracker went off, it was uh, when the detective was here. Alright, so this guy's got something to do with it. Gotta take the elevator. Or not. Maybe we have to go out the back door. You're yelling me, son, right? Yep. Yes, I'm going around asking everyone questions. Can I count on your cooperation too, Sonata son? Questions? Of course, I'm happy to cooperate. My name is. Kenichi Sonata. I'm in charge of structuring in Kazuto Jumanji. Hmm? What do you mean by structuring? It's like drawing a blueprint of the story. I make adjustments to the ups and downs of the drama, and I set up the foreshadowing. Hmm. I kind of understand, but not really. Okay, for example, changing the order of the episodes or making a character's backstory stronger. Little tweaks like that can make a big difference in how fun and readable a story is. So my role is to keep bird's eye view on the whole story to analyze where we can make these improvements I see okay I'm starting to get the idea by the way so Sonata song have you noticed anything suspicious around the office lately suspicious actually yes huh oh really can you tell me about it what's going on why is he hesitating I should press him a bit excuse me Sonata song could you tell me what you saw that was suspicious I'm not e eager to share. It's not exactly something I want another person to know. Please. Detective is bound to be confidentiality. I won't share anything you tell me with anyone. Fair enough. I'll tell you. I'm going to be totally straight with you, Yagami-san. I suspect one of our ten writers is a spy. Huh? I believe someone on the inside is selling our ideas to someone on the outside. I can't say I wasn't thinking about that possibility, but... Excuse me. It's not a sign. Is there a reason or any evidence that leads you to believe that? I have no evidence, but I do have a concrete basis for my belief. The truth is, a few members of Kazuto Jumanji are thinking about going independent. Does that mean... You mean start over as a single authors again? Yes, they must have finally regained their confidence because of all the hits we've had as Kazuto Jumanji. Now they think they can go out on their own and write books that'll actually sell. Uh... So why don't they just do it instead of selling ideas to an outsider? What's the point of that? Well, we're in a situation where... What should I explain first? Members of Kazuto Jumanji have signed a contract that prohibits them from going independent for at least five years. What? Five-year contract? It's pretty long. Well, the whole intent of this contract was that each of us would focus all, all our energy on Kazuto Jumanji. In exchange for accepting the severe restrictions, we'd all receive regular royalties. You don't have that type of thing as a single author, where you're at risk of enduring long moneyless periods in the publishing schedule, as well as your own slumps. Mm -hmm. I see. So that's another benefit of working in a group with other authors. Yes, huge benefit. One which would disappear after they're independent from Kazuto Jumanji. Remember, we envisioned all the works of Kazuto Jumanji to remain the property of Kazuto Jumanji, the corporate entity. I see. So that makes it hard to strike out on your own. Yes. But, if Kazuto Jumanji were to break up completely, that would be a different story. The contract stipulates that if such a thing were to happen, each author would continue to receive an equal share of the royalties. So here's what I now believe. One of the authors wanting to be independent is slight info to someone on the outside just to make us suspicious of each other. This author is trying to bring out about the breakup of Kazuto Jumanji. This is why you think the suspect is to be someone on the inside. I do. I'm not totally convinced, but the motive makes sense at least. Excuse me. So who are the members who want to become independent? I'm sorry, even after all I've just told you, I can't bring myself to sell out my co-workers. Hmm. I understand. Yagami-san, I like the work we do as Kazuto Jumanji, and I don't think I could make it on my own. Breakup is something I desperately want to prevent, so I hope you can use your investigation to shine a light on the truth. I get it. You can leave the rest of me. Thank you. The issues are pretty complex for this group, little group of authors known as Kazuto Jumanji. Are you done yeah. talking to Sonatiku? Yes, we finished up just now. You know Yagami-san. There was one thing I neglected to tell you. It might turn out to be nothing, but 
Tell me, something trivial could turn out to be a clue to the investigation. Well, it's about an odor. Mm -hmm. An odor? Yeah, the authors have been complaining about a strange smell lately. It wafts in from nowhere and then disappears before being tracked. Does that mean... What sort of smell is it? I would say oily? It smells like oil. Almost like if you left out some meat for a while. That kind of oily ranted smell. But it never comes during meals. There's never trash or anything on the floor, so we just don't know where it could be coming from. Yeah, pretty puzzling. Sorry this probably has nothing to do with your investigation. No. No, no, all the hints are valuable. I'll start paying attention to any smells in the air. <laughs> Hope there are more good ones than bad. Mysterious odor. What could it be? Alright, so maybe the guy on the roof is not part of it. Sish. Ooh, Mahjong. Please feel free to look around the office. I already told the authors to keep out of your way. Alright, time for a good look around. The most interesting location is the meeting space where they exchange their ideas. They say no bugs or wiretaps are ever found there, but maybe they missed something. That unidentified odor. I hope I can actually find out where it's coming from. A mysterious odor, what could it be? When it comes to smells, I know just who to call. Fucking Rambo. The detective dog. Who's a good boy? Alright, let's go. Let's find our smell, buddy. Atta boy. Hmm? What? Are the cigarette butts bothering you? Excuse me. Okay, Zaki san, you a lot smoking in the office? That's rare these days. Yeah, some of the authors say they can't come up with ideas unless they smoke. I'm aware most offices ban smoking, but this is ours, so we're pretty lax about it. Of course, the non-smokers aren't crazy about it. I see. I get it. Is that also why you have the window open in December? Yes, the ventilation system never gets enough fresh air inside. Recruitron and the young lady opens the window at the start of every meeting. And then the authors smoke while we talk. Does that mean... But one of your voices leak outside? Isn't there a risk of someone overhearing? I doubt it. I mean, we're on the third floor. Besides, we're not that loud, and the next building over is some distance away. Wow, he really doesn't worry about that. Okay, I think I'll look around the windows anyway. All right, let's go. Good dog. Very good dog. Uh, what is it, boy? Something nearby? Okay, let me see what's going on. Somebody on a roof, maybe? What the? Oh, no, there's a sm spill on the window. Oh, you know what? Hmm. There's a lot of marks out here, too. Hmm? What are these stains? You're trying to show me these stains, huh? I wonder what they are. Doesn't look like bird poo. More stains above the window, too. Weird. I know I had somebody on the fourth floor listening. Hmm? What's this? It's like animal fur. Why is this here? What were you thinking? You're not supposed to take data home. But, but we're closing in on the deadline. Come on, just this once? No way. I've told you so many times. You know our IDs are being leaked. Don't, don't you? Of course I know. You're not showing data to anyone, are you? What do you mean? You were saying the other day, how can you make it on your own now? What? I don't want to believe it, but... Come on, you two, stop arguing. Yagami-san, hmm. looks like your fears have come true, Sonata-san. The others have all gotten suspicious, suspicious of each other. I haven't been able to trust them myself. Maybe the perpetrator really is among us. In any case, there's no more time to waste. I'll have to speed up my investigation. There are two strange pieces of evidence I found. The animal fur and the smelly stains. The smell is really strong, too. Maybe I should get Rampo to sniff out its source. 
All right, let's go. Hey. What the fuck are you smiling? Atta boy. Huh? Does he want to go outside the room? Probably wants to go upstairs, I'm guessing. Oh, he wants to go outside. Hmm? I'm gonna go to the rooftop. Something up there? I wonder what it could be. Only one way to find out. You got something? You're doing great. Good job, boy. This way, huh? You got something? This way, huh? You got something? Good dog. Very oh. good dog. What's this? Cat food can? What's this doing here? This must be what caused the stains at the office. The stains could be emitting the smell. It's not a coon. Do you suspect your own teammates as well? There is a possibility, or rather, it's the only possibility left at the process of elimination. What are you saying? We shouldn't keep turning a blind eye, Okak Okazaki-san. We should confront the facts and expose the perpetrator before Kazuta Jumanji implodes from within. It's not a goon. Are you saying... Oh, Yagami-san. Sana-san, I think you can hold off on your big confrontation until you hear the results of my investigation. Huh? Did you find something? Mm -hmm. Yes, I think I figured out the suspect's unique strategy. Really? The two stained in the office, the animal fur, and the can of cat food. And the window that always open during their, their idea meetings. And then there's the reason detectives couldn't find any wiretaps or hacks. If I combine all these things, I've got enough evidence to expose the truth. I'm going to deduce the suspect's identity and how they did it, based on the evidence. Firstly, the method by which the suspect was stealing information was... There's a spy on the inside. I assume you have some evidence of you accusing one of us? No. It's a process of elimination. If there is no hacking or buggy, that leaves us with a spy. But do you have any evidence? If we're going to point fingers, you have to show us something. No, I don't really have any evidence. My apologies. Oh, it wasn't a thief. Oh, it's a listening device. Looking in. He's got to be looking in then, with the cat. I mean, there could be a spy though, too. Probably by looking in through the window. What? Like a peeping Tom? How could someone do that on the third floor? The suspect was likely watching from another location and reading your lips to figure out what was being discussed. Well, that sounds a little far-fetched. Do you have any proof or basis for your theory? No. I don't have proof. My theory is based on a hunch, I guess. <laughs> a hunch? That's not very convincing. Uh... <laughs> of course not. Let's try this again. Firstly, here's what I think. Firstly, the method by which the suspect to steal information was... That was wrong too? What the fuck, dude? Probably the suspect listened in. I understand your brainstorm sessions take place at the same time every evening. So if someone were lis listening to the device precisely at that time, he could steal your ideas for his next novel. Wait, hold on. There weren't any bugs? That's right, Yagami-san. Remember the three detectives came and couldn't find in one bug? So, I assume when he looked in, he used the cat to look in, maybe had a camera on the cat, and that's why he was able to see. But I guess it makes more sense if he feeds the cat and has like a microphone on it so he can pick up the sound of what they're saying. I guess that makes more sense. I don't blame them for not being able to find it. Because the bug only showed up when it was needed. It showed up. A listening device? Yep. Yes. The suspect thought up an ingenious way to bring it in here. You can see, the key to solving the mystery was the marks left at the office. Marks. Those marks tell us how the suspect was calling his bug. Oh, it's not that one. Um... Okay... There were strange stains outside the office window, and they smelled like greasy meat. Outside the window? I wouldn't know what those were. Luckily, I found the source of the smell, in a corner of the rooftop. 
cat food. Yes, in all likelihood, the suspect dropped cat food from this can onto the protrusion right outside the window. It was a process which stained the outside wall. So, you're saying this can of cat food is what called the bug? Yep. Yep, that's exactly what I'm saying. I also found evidence which reveals the suspect's identity. Huh, is that fur? A tuft of animal fur. It was found near the stains on the wall. This fur is most likely from a cat. A cat? Are you saying a cat was spying on us? Yep. Yes, or more precisely, a cat wearing a wire. Are you serious? And that's how they were listening in our meeting, our idea meetings. Yes, I know it's hard to believe. Come meeting time, our suspect would carry up, carry the cat up to the roof and drop cat food outside, out, oh my god, right outside the window. Then he would release the cat and direct it to head towards the food. Wait, hold on. Do you really think a creature as apathetic as a cat can be baited like that? No. Maybe the owner kept the cat hungry beforehand, so it would leap at the sight of food. Uh, yes, that might do the trick. Cats are snooty, but not so snooty they can't ignore real hunger. Your meeting space is near the window, which is close to where the bait was placed. Moreover, you've been keeping the window open to let cigarette smoke out. The butt cat sitting right outside, your conversations were leaking like a broken faucet. I can hardly picture this. There's still something I'm not convinced about, Yagmi-san. Our meetings can get pretty long. Even if the cat were well trained, wouldn't it just get up and walk away after it's eaten its food? Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm wondering about that too. My best guess would be... Sleep medication. Sleep medication? Yep. The owner might have spiked the food with sleep aids. I've heard you can ask a vet for a prescription. You really think the perpetrator would go that far? Yes. Sure, you, th you think you could have just hung a listening device from a stream or something, but think about it. A device in a stream will eventually be seen, but if someone just sees a sleeping cat, who would care? You have a point. Nobody would even think it to shoot a sleeping kitty. It's a weird trick, but it's simply a new and highly effective way of hiding in plain sight. Now having said that, if a detective were to come and investigate, the suspect would still want to keep the bug from being found. Uh, and if the cat were just outside the window, it would be set off the detective's bug detector. Right, and yet the bug detector was never set off by anything, let alone a cat. We even had a detective come in, hand, come in immediately after the idea meeting once. How could it never have been found? Yep. Our suspect probably had a way to chase the cat away if needed. Sup, dude. And I believe he did that even today. In the time that I've been here. What? Measure taken by a suspect to chase away the cat. Um. Nothing, I think. Watch the Cowboys lose? Yeah, I'm down. <laughs> yeah, for sure. The measure taken by the suspect to chase away the cat. Miss you too, bro. While I was interviewing everyone here, I heard firecrackers go off outside. I understand they went off and surprised the other detectives who came here before me. That's true now that you mention it. Whenever a detective showed up, the suspect set off the fireworks to wake up the sleeping cat. Uh, the cat can be put in a shell of sleep by adjusting the medicine dosage. It would certainly awaken and hide from the noise. That's true. I used to take sleeping pills, but I was startled awake by an earthquake alert. In other words. Now then, all this leads to me to the following conclusion. Uh, it has to be somebody on the inside. 
Fortunately, the suspect was someone on the inside. What? How did you reach that conclusion? Nobody on the inside would need to eavesdrop through a bug. That's uh, kind of true. Nah, I'm stupid. Said on the inside would be able to obtain information without the need of a bug. Sure, that makes sense. Are we in agreement, Sonataka? We are. The suspect had to be near this building as he spied on you. Had to be able to chase the cat away with a firecracker. Uh huh, uh huh. Kasaki san, your ID meeting is scheduled to start now, isn't it? The suspect might be nearby, checking in on what we're doing. Preparing to listen in on the idea of meeting. Hmm? Oh, man. Well, that's not obvious. No oh, shit. Meow. <laughs> kind of a scary kid, ain't you? Drop your cat. That dude just got taken out by a fucking car. I'ma get you. Sir, the one who's been spying in the office of Kazuhudo Jumanji. I, I don't know what you're talking about. It's a can of cat food. Had your fingerprints on it. You didn't think to wipe them off? What? Can't hand this over to the police, you know. Damn it. Of course, I don't actually have any fingerprints, but this isn't a courtroom, so. I'd say I'm allowed to bluff a little. It's time to give up and admit your crime. Forget it. Give me back that cat food can. Let's go. Bitch. Okay, I'm sorry. Hey. So, who are you? Were you still in the writer's ideas? What's your name, Sugoroku Futaba? I, uh... Yagami-san. Did you catch the... Ah, uh, it's you. Hmm? You know this person? Yes, this is Bataru Tenjinbashi, our editor in charge. Huh? The perp was your editor? Well, former editor, to be exact. Uh... What do you mean? He was our editor until about a year ago, but we asked for him to be reassigned after he caused some trouble. Does that mean... What kind of trouble? He advertised a new book on social media without our consent before we'd even decided to publish it. We were still working on the plot points, none of us which had been made public. <sighs> so your own editor really classified information? And then the readers were expecting this great novel when we didn't even know how or if we were going to complete it. This guy even disclosed a surprise twist in the story in an effort to save his marketing campaign. 
And in the end, we had to scrap the novel and start another one from scratch. Huh. So that's what happened. It's your fault. All this is your fault. Excuse me? What? After all that happened, you decided to release your Sleeping Detective series within, with another publisher. The editor-in-chief hated me for losing a featured author. He stopped giving me work until I had no choice but to resign. No way. So you took out your frustration by stealing their ideas and selling them to an unknown writer? A writer in a slump will pay anything for good ideas. And I'm sure this man took full advantage. Sir, so what are you going to do to me? We'll leave it up to the court to decide what you'll be charged with. No. Alright, case closed. Thank you so much, Yagami-san. <laughs> I'm just glad we were able to catch the perp. It's not a coon. Are we good now? Akasaki san You should know that I recognize your talent, but I cannot condone distress in your teammates. Uh, I know that some of the authors are looking to go independent, and I also know that worries you. I'm sorry. I... Ever since the plagiarism mess, the teamwork in Kazuto Jumanji has been in shambles. We have to start making improvements, and that starts with trusting our members and working as one. Can I count on you for that, Sonata Kun? Yes, of course. I think I'm looking forward to Kazuto Jumanji's next book. Ooh. Dagger Break. It is, but there is a lot of dialogue. I'm also like super overpowered. So I've been doing like all the side shit. So I like kick everybody's ass. <laughs> um Now, go to the office. 